Hello YouTube, uh, welcome to my first ever how-to video. Um, a lot of people have been asking me how I've managed to connect my DualShock 3 controller to my Windows PC, so I thought instead of sharing it in the information with just a handful of people, I'd share it with the world and make this my first ever YouTube video. Uh, most people have connected their DualShock 3s using a program called Motion Enjoy. However, while there's not been any security issues with it before, it has the potential to be a Trojan, which in the light of the NSA backlash and general privacy concerns in our technological world, it just means the Motion Enjoy option is not a desirable one. Also, Motion Enjoy has adverts running through it all the time. That can get quite distracting when you're trying to play a game. This is also a perfect excuse to not throw away your PS3 controller if you've bought a PS4 or an Xbox One, or a Wii U. After spending an insane amount of time trying to get my DualShock 3 to connect with my PC, I found this far easier way of installing it, and I've included everything you need to get up and running in a zip file called SCP DS3 Driver Package, and you can download it from the link here or in the video description. Everything in the package has come directly from Microsoft's Download Center, so unzip it and let's get these DualShock 3s connected in 9 easy steps. Right, so the first thing we want to do is plug in the PS3 controller to a USB port. Also plug in a Bluetooth dongle if you want to connect wirelessly and let Windows install the USB drivers for them before we go any further. You should leave them plugged in throughout the entire process. So once you've unzipped the file, you just open the SCP DS3 driver package folder. Here's one I made earlier. Anyone who's watched Blue Peter before will know where that's referenced from. I've always wanted to say that. Um, so let's go into it. Uh, the first step you need to take is to install Microsoft.NET Framework 4. This should already be pre-installed if you're running Windows 8. It will tell you if you already have it installed. Uh, like it does there. Um, if you're running Windows XP, Vista or Windows 7 you can install it by clicking continue here. Um, so do that if you already haven't got it. Uh, then the next thing to install is DirectX. Uh, this again is fresh from Microsoft themselves. Um, one little bit of warning, it automatically asks you to install the Bing bar um, untick that if you don't want to increase your browsing experience um, and then click next and it will install that already I already have that so I'm not going to go through that step here um, it will just run through the install program uh, then the, th the fourth thing is Visual C 2010 runtime uh, again verified publisher Microsoft Corporation um, I'm going through all of these steps on the tutorial just to show you that everything in the zip file that I've downloaded from Microsoft's download center is to make absolutely sure that you're installing the correct versions when following this tutorial. Uh, for the next step we need to install the Xbox 360 controller drivers. Uh, I've downloaded them for every bit, every version of Windows, Windows 7 and 8, 32 and 64 bit, Vista 32 and 64 XP 64 and XP Service Pack 2 and 32 bit. Right, so moving on, for those of you connecting a Bluetooth dongle, it's imperative that you still have it plugged in. If your system has built in Bluetooth, please be aware that this driver will mean that the built in Bluetooth will only ever connect with the DualShock 3. So if you use your built in Bluetooth to connect keyboards, a mouse, or any other accessories to your computer via Bluetooth it's recommended that you run this next step with the dongle inserted. Um, so now what we need to do is unzip the SCP server file and then go into the bin folder uh, then you go to the SCP driver and run it as an administrator or have administrator level permissions on your computer. Um, and then when you get to this box, if you're on Windows XP or Vista, check the force install box. Uh, if you're on Windows 7 or 8, you don't need to do that. And then click install and you'll get a summary of what's installed and what's not installed. There's nothing on my particular window here because I've already done it all. 
um, but it should say drivers are installed and you're good to go. Um, at this point, the next step is to reboot your machine. Uh, so let's do that now. Right, so now we've rebooted our machine. We're going to open the control panel, go to devices and printers, and your Xbox 360 controller for Windows should be there. If you've done the Bluetooth, that will be there too. Um, and that's it, you're done. Uh, the DualShock 3 should now work using the official Xbox 360 controller drivers. What the SCP driver has done is it's tricked the computer into thinking you're using a 360 controller. Uh, an extra tip for you is to create a shortcut somewhere that's easy for you to find uh, to open the SCP monitor. Um, when you switch your DualShock 3 on automatically it will pair with the Bluetooth hardware when you switch it on. I'm connected by USB um, so let's see what that says. Your DualShock 3 will automatically pair with your Bluetooth hardware when you turn it on. I'm currently connected by USB. For all Bluetooth users where it says high in that area there it means the battery percentage for the controller is between 70 and 90 percent and full means over 90 percent battery. It will always say full or charging when connected via USB. So happy gaming! This will work with any PC game that supports Xbox 360 controllers. If the game doesn't support Xbox 360 controllers it may not work correctly. So here's an example of me using my DualShock 3 on the PC uh, I once again want to reiterate at this point that if your system has internal Bluetooth please be aware that this driver will mean that the built-in Bluetooth will only ever connect with the DualShock 3. So if you're using the built-in Bluetooth to connect a keyboard, a mouse or any other accessories it's recommended that you run this driver with a dongle inserted otherwise all your other connections will be overridden. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful.